Okay, well, let's go on to uh, the um, pre-movers, pre-market movers and levels. Okay, well, once again today, um, I'm just going to look at um, uh, to how the, the index futures are looking to, to open or how they've been indicated to open. So we start with the S&P 500 futures around 1,936, up around 3.5% after that China news, so they have been higher than that uh, uh, pre-market. And then NASDAQ, if you, um, remember this was, well you won't remember because you weren't here, but yesterday this was the one that was called the, down the most of the uh, US equity It was down futures. 4% I think yesterday, so it's up, for, it's already... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, up 4.4%, up uh, around 4,167 is where it's expected to open. And it's, you know, we haven't got to be too clever to, to, to see why US equities have seen rallying sharply on China rate moves and the gains made in European indices, and that's likely to filter through into the US market this afternoon. If we look at uh, the levels to watch today, um, as far as uh, the cash indices are concerned, which is what we're looking at here, it's been a, it's been a wilder, wild ride, <laughs> and uh, the charts aren't telling us too much because we've we made such big moves and gaps yesterday. But uh, we'll go with 6,000 on the downside in the FTSE, if nothing else for its round number value, plays 6,151 to the upside. For the DAX, uh, 9,760 is the level we'd need to break back below to, to, to make further uh, losses of any consequence anyway and we play uh, 10,125 to the upside which could easily get taken out today I would have thought. Uh, for the S&P we look at uh, 1,893 now as the downside level playing 1,926 to the upside. It is a wide range there but uh, given yesterday's volatility I think we can uh, we can live with that for the moment and in the Dow I've gone with 16,120 on the downside, plays 16,220 to the upside. But again, I think you know the upside level could easily be taken out if we have uh, a good solid session this afternoon. Okay, and on the currency front? Okay, for currencies, uh, euro dollar um, just pausing for breath really after the last couple of days where it's, where it's roared away. Um, 114.54 now will be our downside level. If we are going to make further gains, we need to take out 115.49 on the upside. Um, Aussie dollar, US dollar, that, that's probably uh, the calmest of the bunch at the moment. 7200 now uh, on the downside, plays at 7275 to the upside. Um, in dollar yen, uh, we've got 119.60, plays 120 spot 32, but but that effectively printed down to a 115 handle yesterday afternoon. So um, we've, we've, we've regained our composure, but uh, while there were wild, wild moves. It flushed everybody out there as well, presumably. Well, absolutely, but you know, give, it's a stale give, market. given that's you know the, the pair between perhaps the fourth biggest economy in the world and the first biggest economy in the world, it's a very surprising move. And in cable, um, cable's managed to re-establish itself above 157 and has the potential perhaps now to push on further. So we look for 157.45 as our downside level uh, versus 158.05 to the upside. And uh, my focus again would be on the upside there.